It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite. What if my carbs are too low on keto? This question comes up a lot, and it's not a simple yes or no answer. Some of it depends on your genetics, and some of it depends on what level of keto you're doing. We always recommend doing what's called strict keto. Lazy keto usually only makes things worse. When you try to mix regular diet with keto, your body is always confused and it can't get solidly into keto. You have to get all the glycogen or blood sugar out of your system to get into ketosis. Ketosis is when you start to burn the fat for energy and start losing the fat. If you're always sneaking extra carbs into your system, your body never has to switch over to burning fat. Your body always takes the most efficient way. The easiest way to get energy is from sugar, so it'll always choose the sugar first. So what about the other side of that equation? What if your carbs are too low on keto? If you're not fully on keto and you're doing loose keto, then your body will be at least partly dependent on carbs for energy. Then if you just lower your carbs all of a sudden, there are some things that can happen that you won't like. One, you might have very low energy, also known as hypoglycemia, because your body's depending on blood sugar for energy and not ketones. You aren't putting enough carbs in to keep your blood sugar high enough. Number two, you won't lose weight. As strange as it seems, the carbs play a part in your metabolism. If you're not firmly in ketosis, you actually need carbs for your metabolism to work properly and burn fat. It's kind of weird. This is why you can't mix keto and a normal diet. You really need to be in or out. Three, fluctuating blood sugar levels can give you brain fog, confusion, and headaches. These symptoms can also come from eating certain carbs, mainly grains. People often have gluten sensitivity that causes them to have all those symptoms. I tend to tell people to stay away from grains no matter what diet they're on. Personally, gluten almost killed me before I found out what it was. So for me, it's personal. Number four, sugar cravings. When you play with your blood nutrient balance by bouncing around in your diet, your body is always playing catch up. It doesn't know what it needs or wants, so it tries to eat everything in sight. And we've all been there grazing in the kitchen, not knowing what we want, but knowing we want something. Number five, you might have problems with digestive regularity. Your body needs to be in a groove, a habit. If you instantly take away a lot of your fiber, your bowels may not be able to do their job. And this is only part of the problems that come from mixing your diets. Instead of asking, what if my carbs are too low on keto? Ask if you're doing a coherent diet that your body can figure out. Try doing full keto, not half keto, not sort of keto, real actual keto. Then see what happens. Then see how you do. If you need a plan, you don't know how to do this, we have a complete done-for-you system at rockthatketo.com front slash SK. rockthatketo.com front slash SK. No thinking, no math, no figuring it out. You just follow along with the shopping list and the recipes. It's all done for you. You could be losing weight this week. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. 
Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.